What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, I am bringing Shadow Mewtwo here to the Retro Cup to just have some fun. This thing is an absolute monster, and it destroys Pokemon when it can land its charge moves. That's very important to note. So we're going to keep that thing in the back. We're leading there with the Lapras. We have Defense Form Deoxys as a safe swap. If you guys do not have Defense Form Deoxys, maybe try Mew, maybe try Hypno. What you're looking is for something that can draw out maybe the uh, the counters there to Shadow Mewtwo while also handling some of the flyers, right? Maybe like Altaria, for example, in case it does come in, trying to dodge that Lapras, right? So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles. Be sure to smash that like button for the booms that will be happening today with Shadow Mewtwo. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, getting into the first battle. What I notice with this team is if the backline doesn't have Dragon Breath, we're looking pretty good. So what we have here is a Swampert now on the lead. This is actually the first time I've ever faced Swampert in the Retro Cup. I didn't think people were running it, but hey, we're seeing it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stay in here. We're going to look to go for Surf's, try to get ourselves Shield Advantage. Now they're going to go ahead and throw a Charge move right here. I'm going to let it go. Earthquake can't one-shot, and it is just going to be a Hydro Cannon, which is perfect. Now I'm hoping I can get to this next Surf in time but I cannot. Now, this is probably going to be an earthquake. I'm going to let it go just in case, but it was an earthquake. That's unfortunate. We get boomed right there. We're going to go ahead and bring in defense from Deoxys and load up on energy. Now, we're not going to give up any shields. What's important here with Shadow Mewtwo is to give it shields. It can really sweep teams as long as there's not an extremely hard-hitting fast move that will shred it apart because with shield advantage, this thing can go to town. So let's see what they decide to bring in. I'm guessing there's going to be a Frostlass or an Altaria. Sure enough, there's a Frostlass, which is great. Defense Form Deoxys with energy can handle these Pokemon, right? Rock Slide's going to be doing super effective damage here to the Frostlass. We're probably going to get shields. We're going to chunk health. So there goes the first shield. So we're already looking pretty good for a Shadow Mewtwo sweep endgame since we have a 2 to 1 shield advantage and hopefully we can land this rock slide which we do perfect. Now they're going to go ahead and throw their energy and ladies and gentlemen we're going to let this De Deoxys go down and let the Mewtwo go. Mewtwo everyone is so deadly. Psycho Cuts are absolutely shredding apart this Frostlass. We're going to go ahead and shield obviously anything basically one shots at Shadow Mewtwo in the Great League. Um, so we will be stopping that Avalanche. They swap in their own Shadow Mewtwo. This is game one and I'm like there's no way anyone is running Shadow Mewtwo and sure enough I'm facing it against an opponent who is running it but thankfully we have so much energy right now. Um, Psy Strike here is going to be resisted, but Lord Almighty, this thing hits like an absolute truck. So we're going to go ahead and throw the next one. This is this is resisted damage, everyone, mind you. Resisted damage, and we're booming. Here we go. Boom! One shots the Mewtwo, and we are going to see the Frostlass come back in, and we get to the Psy Strike in time. This is going to take out Frostlass, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. I was dying of laughter here doing this battle because there was no way that game one I run into another Shadow Mewtwo. That's a good game to my opponent. Very well played. All right, so we got Lapras versus Defense Form Deoxys on the lead. A terrible lead for us. So we're going to go ahead and go into the DD Mirror here. And they're not swapping out, which tells me whatever's in the back is probably weak to Defense Form Deoxys, which means Shadow Mewtwo might have some play um, with energy and shield. So we're just going to go ahead and stay in this fight. Look to go for Rock Slides again for neutral damage because Psychic resists Psychic. So don't be throwing those Psycho Boosts early at all. It's not going to do any damage. You're just going to lower your own attack. So we're going to go ahead and just go for another Rock Slide again. They're not they're not swapping out something is extremely weak or both pokemon in the back are extremely weak to defense form deoxys so we're gonna go ahead and try to go for a psycho boost now now that we've gone for rock slides here and we've chunked it down psycho boost now can ko basically from this range so we're gonna try to get that if we can take out this defense form deoxys or give ourselves shield advantage if we get a shield here and they throw energy i'm gonna come in with mewtwo and load up but they let it go which is fine so now we'll have to see what they had in the back our defenses were lowered and or our attack was lowered, I should say, and it's going to be a Dragonair. So we're going to swap straight into Lapras and they swap straight into Macargo. So interesting that they didn't bring the Dragonair in, but still um, Surf here is going to be doing so much damage. We're going to be getting shields and we're looking to pretty well end game to sweep with Mewtwo because of shield advantage. So we do get to another Surf in time. This does double super effective damage here to Macargo. Um, so we're going to be getting both shields and they're just probably going to commit to the hard farm down, which is fine by me. Um, Mewtwo can basically come in right here, one shot the Macargo and then one shot the Dragonair. So we're going to go ahead and load up on some energy. Now I misplayed this. 
um, ideally what I should be doing is basically shielding right here and then overloading on energy right I decided to throw side strike right away which is what you guys will see um, so I should have just overloaded on energy and then had two side strikes ready to go to one shot basically so we're gonna go ahead and throw this first one this is still gonna one shot Macargo for neutral damage and then we are gonna see the dragon air come in and this is gonna get close everyone this is why I needed that extra energy look at how much damage dragon breath is doing which is why I said if there's no dragon breath in the back things are looking pretty good they do get the aqua tail but we also get to the side strike just in time and everyone this is neutral damage from a shadow mewtwo to a dragon air boom one shots it and that is going to be a good battle very well played let's go ahead and move into this next battle we got lapras on the lead versus Shadow Snorlax. Not the best of matchups right here. Obviously, Shadow Snorlax having access to super, super power is very, very deadly. So we're going to go ahead and queue up that Surf. Um, and they are going to be throwing the charge. I'm guessing this might be super power. And it is. So we're not going to shield there. But we do get the Surf in time to chunk the health. And then we're going to go ahead and swap into defense form Deoxys right here to counter down. So we do swap. And they swap right away as well into Cresselia. Now, Cresselia is extremely bulky and what's great here is we're facing off against it with defense form deoxys instead of shadow mewtwo because mewtwo is only going to be doing resisted damage here which definitely isn't ideal so having neutral damage there with rock slide is very very nice plus we can kind of soft lose this matchup right here um and basically come in and hard farm with mewtwo to try to sweep this end game so let's see how we play this out we're just going to keep going for rock slides again no psycho boost here it's resisted and it's going to lower your attack so don't do that go for these rock slides right here for neutral and as you can see it's really starting to add up which is very nice hopefully we can get to one more rock slide right here before we go down and i imagine they're going to be going for grass knots now instead of moon blast but they do go for the moon blast which means i can get to this rock slide hopefully no they swap into shadow snorlax which honestly everyone i'm perfectly fine with get this thing out of here because it'll shred apart my mewtwo and it goes down that's beautiful absolutely beautiful so what we're gonna do here is we're going to try to get to a Psycho Boost if I can. I don't think I'll have enough time to get to Rock Slide. So we're just going to race to that Psycho Boost. But they do decide to throw their energy, which is fine by me. We're going to let DD go down right here. We're going to come in with Lapras and look to farm down or make them throw their energy right here. We can't really farm down with Mewtwo. Um, so we're going to go ahead and come with the Lapras, start farming down, and they do have a Grass Knot ready to go. So we're just going to let this go. We're going to trust in Mewtwo to sweep this game for us, everyone. Shadow Snorlax might have been their only counter to a Psychic. We're going to go ahead and bring in the Mewtwo, start loading up on energy. They're not swapping out as well, so I'm just going to go ahead and shield this charge move, and we'll have to see what is in the back. And it's going to be a Frost last, everyone, so this is going to be deadly. Psy Strike. My goodness, Psy Strike is so powerful here against Frostlass. They do have two shields though, but I already have a Psy Strike and a half, so all I need to do is get to one or two more. Here comes the second one. This is going to be getting the second shield, and they need to get to two Avalanches in time, which I don't think they can in time. So we're going to be able to get to that Psy Strike. Here we go. So we get both shields, and we're going to boom the Frostlass right here with Psy Strike. Boom! One shots it right there, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played to my opponent. So Mewtwo, again, sweeping so well. It's a lot of fun. Okay, moving in in this next battle. We have Lapras on the lead versus Defense Form Deoxys. <laughs> Terrible lead, got to swap right away. Going straight into DD, they bring in XL Lickitung. Everyone is running XL Lickitung. It's absolutely ridiculous. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let this go. What we're trying to do in this matchup um, is Psycho Boost is, again, one of those moves where you want to throw in this matchup, but later on because... Be because I should sorry because it lowers your attack you don't you want to do as much damage with counters as you can right so we're just gonna be throwing these rock slides and then we're gonna try to go for a s double psycho boost right here so just before actually they do get to the body slam which is unfortunate so I think I actually decide to shield no I let this go and hopefully we survive which we do and now we're gonna go for this psycho boost it's gonna do quite a bit of neutral damage and they may shield as well which is gonna be pretty good for us we do get the shield okay so we got shield advantage now for Mewtwo endgame this might be their only counter to a Mewtwo so what we're gonna do here is come in with Lapras load up on energy and we're gonna let that power whip go through it's gonna do super effective damage it's gonna hurt but again you want to have shields for Mewtwo to sweep endgame as long as that's not a hard-hitting fast move that can shred apart Mewtwo so we do completely farm down right here we're gonna go ahead and go for the surf to do some chip damage I have I have far too much energy right here so we're gonna go for surf against Deoxys this won't get a shield obviously and then we're gonna swap straight into Mewtwo get ahead on energy 
they have a Zangoose in the back. That's not good. Shadow Claw is absolutely ripping me apart. But hopefully, I can get to two side strikes. I only need two side strikes. So here comes the first one. Gets the shield. Come on, get to the second one. No, Shadow Claw is absolutely tearing me a new one right there. And we go down. This is how some of these games go. And I wanted to show you guys that it's just not all booms and roses, right? Sometimes you get absolutely shredded by Dragon Breath. And Shadow Claw, that's what absolutely tears through this back line right here. But hey, that's okay. We have fun with these teams. So they're going to go ahead and go for Double Night Slash. I'm going to still fight the good fight right here. I know it's game over. So we're just going to we're gonna fight the good fight, letting them know I could take out at least two of the three of their Pokemon here. So we'd use Surf, take out the Zangoose, and then they do bring in the DD. And we're going to go down to counter. And that's going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. All right, moving into this next battle. We got Lapras on the lead versus Mew. This is a tough Pokemon to lead off against. So they decide to swap out and I'm like, thank you for the potential free win right here. I don't know why they swapped out. Typically with the Mew, what you want to do is build up to Wild Charge and then swap out. Um, but they didn't. So that's fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and use Defense Form Deoxys to basically near farm down. I can't 100% farm down this Vigoroth because of Body Slam spam. I don't want to give up a shield, so I will have to use energy instead. So we're going to go ahead and throw a Rock Slide right here now that I'm almost at two, which means I can get one against the Mew that's going to come in and farm me down. So this Rock Slide right here takes out the Vigoroth. We are going to see that Mew come back in and farm down for a lot of energy, which is not ideal, but hey, Rock Slide's still going to do some great neutral damage right here, and I believe I actually swap into Lapras. Yeah. I think I do. Yeah, I swap into Lapras. I don't want them to farm me down, and I get to this Surf in time. This is going to do a lot of neutral damage to Mew, and we might get a shield as well. No shield. They let it go. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead, and I think I do decide to shield. Um, nope, I let it go. It is going to be the Wild Charge. That almost one-shots us, and they bring in Metacham, and Mew too is like, oh my goodness. Here we go. Mew too versus Metacham right here. This is going to be fun. So Mewtwo is going to come in and Psy Strike again does neutral because of that fighting psychic typing. We need to get to three Psy Strikes in time. Psycho Cut is incredibly um, strong at gaining energy. And we're just going to go ahead and shield all these charge moves. Now they're probably running Ice Punch and Psychic, which is definitely ideal, which means there's no power up punch shield bait. So we're just going to go ahead and throw these Psy Strikes right here. We get one shield. We're going to build up a little bit more, throw the second one right here. And now Switch Clock might be coming back up for their Mew. So we have to be careful of when we throw this. What I'm going to do actually is swap into my Defense Form Deoxys to try to catch the charge move and force them to bring, actually they bring in the Mew, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psycho Boost right here. This is going to take out the Mew um, and then they're going to go ahead and farm me down, but they don't have enough energy for two Ice Punches. So we get a Psycho Cut in. We're going to go ahead and shield and throw the Psy Strike right here to take out the Metacham, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. So Mewtwo, again, sweeping endgame. Like I said, if there's no Dragon Breath in the back with a shield and no Shadow Claw in the back with a shield, you're looking pretty good to sweep with Mewtwo with Psy Strike. And then the second charge move, you guys can vary. I really didn't use Focus Blast at all. Um, I just used Psy Strike this whole time. All right, we got Dragonair on the lead. Obviously, a very positive matchup, and they bring in a Lantern. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in Defense Form Deoxys right here. We can ideally win this matchup, so we're just going to go for Rock Slides. Um, but Thunderbolts really do hurt, and I didn't want to bring in the Mewtwo and have to give up shields in this matchup. So we're going to go ahead and just see if we can either win this uh, mid-game or get shield advantage for Mewtwo endgame. So we do land the rock slide, which is nice. Counters as well, doing neutral damage. And what we have to do is basically go for another charge move. Now I might have the shield right here, which I do. I want to win this mid game and let's see what happens. We go ahead and shield the Thunderbolt. We're going to load up on some energy. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and go for rock slide right here. I'm almost at a psycho boost as well. So if they decide to shield this, I might be able to get a quick psycho boost off. We do get a shield, which is perfect, but we lose CMP tie. Now we're going to go ahead and let this go. I can't double shield a defense form Deoxys with a Mewtwo in the back. Mewtwo needs a shield. So we're going to go ahead and come in with that Mewtwo right here and start loading up on energy. They decide to swap into the Dragonair, which is fine. Lapras can easily come into that. Thank you very, thank you very much. Um, and they're going to go ahead and throw their charge. Now Dragon Pulse will hurt. 
but it won't I don't think it'll KO right here and it's actually just a wrap so they're running wrap and aqua tail so what we're gonna do is build up some energy and go for a surf right here for resisted damage I don't want their lantern to be able to farm me down um, for a lot of energy and I want to be able to have a charge move ready to go now they also got to an aqua tail which is perfectly fine I'm gonna go ahead and let this go it is going to be up to Mewtwo to take out the Dragonair, which can do just like that. Take out the Lantern and take out the Talonflame. So there's an Incinerate user in the back, but we do. And they snuck through a fast move right there, which is unfortunate. But here comes that first Ice Strike. Gets the shield. We're going to go ahead and go for the second one right away. This should be one-shotting. I imagine it's a Shadow Mewtwo for neutral damage. No, barely doesn't one-shot, but we do Psycho Cut down, and then we the Lantern will get one-shot as well, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. So tough one right there. All right, moving into this next battle. We have Lapras on the lead versus Superior. This is a bad lead right here. We're going to go ahead and swap into Defense Form Deoxys. And they're not swapping out, which is definitely ideal for us. They're going to go ahead and throw a charge. We're probably going to be Frenzy Plan right here. I'm going to let it go. I want to chip down the Superior without having to give up shields just yet. So we are able to get to the Rock Slide now. This is going to do neutral damage here in the matchup. And then we might look to try to go for a Psycho Boost if they decide to stay in. So we're going to go ahead and try to get to that Psycho Boost, which we do. This is going to do neutral damage and might force a shield here as well, which will definitely be ideal. So we do get a shield from them. They're going to go ahead and throw their charge move right now. I'm going to let it go. I don't want to have to give up a shield here on Defense Form Deoxys, and it's actually just a Leaf Tornado, which is not enough to KO me, which I do get to a Psycho Boost, but they swap into Cresselia. That's a good swap by them catching this resisted damage right here that will literally do nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and swap into Lapras right now, and this is a Confusion Cresselia as well, which means it's not going to be able to spam Grass Knots as often as possible. So we're going to go ahead and shield the first charge move. It's obviously going to be a Grass Knot, most likely. Um, and then we can go for Skull Bash here to boost our defenses, do neutral damage to the Cresselia. That way we can hopefully survive the next Grass Knot and maybe even Ice Shard down the Superior. So we do get the defense boost right there. We're going to go ahead and load up on energy, and we're going to throw this Surf right here before they do throw the Grass Knot. This is going to be taking out the Cresselia or get that Final Shield. Both is very positive for us. We do take out the Cresselia. Superior is going to be coming back in, and it's loading up on energy. Not able to get to the next Ice Shard, though, so we're going to go ahead and let this go. Then we're going to come in with that Mewtwo right here and load up. Now, charge move coming through. We're going to have the shield. Obviously, don't want to get hit with a Frenzy Plant. And then we're going to go ahead and see a Hypno now come in. So this is definitely tough, everyone. We're going to have to time our swaps and our charge moves the best that we can. We're going to go ahead and throw the side Strike. This is going to be getting the shield there from the Hypno. And then we're going to go ahead and swap into Defense Form Deoxys on the charge move, which I'm guessing was a punch right here. I believe it was four. No, it was five. They threw a Shadow Ball. So I had a miscount right there, but definitely caught it, which is beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and throw this next side Strike. This is going to do some resisted damage, but is it going to be enough to KO? No, it's definitely not enough to KO. We have to get to the next one, which we do. This should be enough damage to take out the Hypno. Is it? yep we do take it out and then the superior goes down to fast moves and that is going to be a good battle very well played all right moving into this next battle we have lapras on the lead versus metacham terrible lead got to swap out right away we're going to go ahead and go into the defense form deoxys right here and we do see an alolan marowak come in so double hard counter so far but this game is not over alolan marowak might be their only counter to a psychic so which is means uh, the mewtwo is going to do very well end game now in this matchup i'm not going to give up a shield right here i just want to chunk the alolan marowak low but they decide to throw shadow bone okay this was the Shadow Bone one. So we're going to go ahead and try to get to a Rock Slide, but no, we cannot. So I'm actually going to go ahead and shield now. I need to get resources from this Alolan Marowak, which means I need to get to double Psycho Boost, basically. So we do get to the double Psycho Boost right here. Here comes the first one. This should be getting the shield from the Alolan Marowak, and the second one is going to be able to chunk some health. So we do get the shield, and we get to the second one as well. This is going to get Alolan Marowak low, but they can farm us down, but at least it's within range for us to farm down with Lapras. Now, again, we're banking on them not having a second counter here to Mewtwo, so we're going to come in with the Lapras, we're going to load up on energy, and then we're going to unleash the Mewtwo against Medicham and whatever their final Pokemon is. 
So we're going to go ahead and farm down right here. And then we're going to swap right away. You guys can see me sw um, switching as fast as I can. But there's a king in the back. This is what I meant. Dragon Breath and Shadow Claw. It doesn't matter. I cannot get to two side strikes, which is unfortunate. Shadow Mewtwo in the Great League does not have a lot of defense or HP, which means we get shredded apart right here. And that's, that's a good game to my opponent. Um, so tough one right there, obviously. But again, how you, how you guys have been seeing me play this out is give shields to Mewtwo, try to sweep endgame. And a lot of the times, I wasn't seeing Pokemon um, that would basically shred down with Dragon Breath or Shadow Claw. I saw some neutral matchups, maybe like Frostlass, for example, where charge moves are the name of the game. So we can win those. We're going to go ahead and go with Lapras versus Snorlax again here in the next battle. And we're going to swap straight in Defense Form Deoxys, get ahead on Energy. And they're staying in a bit too long, which means, oh, this is the other Alolan Marowak one. Now, this Alolan Marowak is rocking fire spin instead of hex as the fast move you guys can see that with the animation and rock slides here are going to be very very nice for us we're going to give you to get to another one in time now again not going to shield first i want them to be half the shield first um and it's just going to be a bone club so they went for the shield bait instead and i wasn't going to shield which means this rock slide right here is going to ko the alolan marowak if they decide not to shield and we do boom Take out the Alolan Marowak, flip that mid game, and we will see a Hypno now come in. So things are still not looking too good. Hypno and Snorlax are going to do very well against Shadow Mewtwo with shields. So what we need to do is try to save Defense Form Deoxys here by swapping into Lapras. That way, maybe I draw out that Snorlax and I can counter down with Defense Form Deoxys. So Charge Moon now coming through. It is going to be Shadow Ball, which means they're not rocking um, Thunder Punch. They probably have Ice Punch. And Charge Moon now coming through from Snorlax. They wouldn't throw a superpower right here, so I'm not going to shield. It would. It is a body slam, which is fine by me. We're going to look to get to a surf right here, which we do. We just want to chip away the health here of Snorlax. Again, come in with Defense Form Deoxys and farm down. But we get a shield, which is great. So now we have shield advantage for our Mewtwo endgame, and we get to a second surf, which is absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what we needed here in this matchup. We needed a chunk health, and we needed to get a shield which we did. So now we're going to go ahead and come in with Defense Form Deoxys right here and look to farm down. And that is actually enough health where Shadow Mewtwo might be able to farm down. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. It is going to be Body Slam and I'm going to swap right away into Shadow Mewtwo and start getting ahead on energy. We're going to have the shield. And as you guys can see, Psycho Cuts might just do enough damage right here. And we've seen what Shadow Mewtwo can do against the Hypno for resisted damage. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Psy Strike right here. This is going to be taking out the Hypno or getting the... F I think they have one more shield left. Yeah, they do. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and shield that, which is fine. I can shield this charge move now. And this is going to be very, very close. Snorlax still has quite a bit of health left, which means we might have to get to a charge move right here. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Psy Strike. This is going to be taking out the Hypno. And then hopefully we can fast move down the Snorlax. No, it's not enough to take out Hypno. Psycho Cuts now coming in clutch. And hopefully we can get to one more, which we do to take out the Snorlax right here. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. So again, Mewtwo, if there's not super hard hitting fast moves in the back like Dragon Breath or Shadow Claw, this thing can sweep teams if you give it shield advantage. And those were good games, very well played to my opponents today. A lot of fun with this team. Pretty spicy when it comes to using the Mewtwo. I know Lapras is very meta. Defense Form Deoxys is very meta. But I just wanted to try Mewtwo to see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Shadow Mewtwo booms here in the Retro Cup. And like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.